Right now at 11, the woman charged in what police call a murder for hire plot says she's not guilty. Today, Shanna Gardner was formally charged with murder in the death of Jared Brightigan, her first husband. Our Taylor Levesque is on your side tonight covering what's ahead in this death penalty murder trial. She joins us live tonight with more. Taylor. High profile attorney Jose Baez is representing Shanna Gar Gardner and says that she is innocent. Today, the family of Jared Brightigan filled the Duval County courtroom. Shanna Gardner walked into a Duval County courtroom Friday morning showing a soft smile. Representing Gardner is high profile defense attorney Jose Baez. The judge says moving forward, both Gardner and her second husband, Mario Fernandez Saldana, will be tried together and all future court hearings will be together. Baez says he wants them tried separately. If there's something that paints Fernandez to it, right, and they're both seated at the table, she looks guiltier sitting next to Mario. First Coast News crime and safety expert Mark Bachman says there's evidence both Gardner and Fernandez played a role in Jared Bridegan's murder. It could be telephone analysis uh, uh, information, cell tracking information, it could be ballistics, it could be interviews, it could be a combination of that and all things. Baez says his team is now going through seven terabytes worth of discovery evidence and a list of 100 potential witnesses by the state. Attorney Shannon Schott, who is not connected to this case, says if Gardner and Fernandez are tried together, this means they will get their own juries. Both of them are at this point fighting for their life and they and their attorneys are trying to come up with the best way to avoid the death penalty. Baez has served on the defense for high profile cases like Casey Anthony and Aaron Hernandez. He's a good attorney. He's going to cross every T and dot every I. He's really good on uh, direct examination. I've watched him and he's very good on cross too. Gardner and Fernandez will be back in court on December 1st. Live in downtown Jacksonville, Taylor Levesque, First Coast News on your side.